Irene's world shattered in an instant when she tumbled down the stairs, the terrifying fall leaving her perilously close to what could have been a fatal accident. As she lay on the floor, bruised and battered, reality hit her like a freight train. Despite the pain, she summoned every ounce of strength to clean herself up, attempting to patch the wound on her head. But the moment Harper walked through the door and saw Irene in her disheveled state, panic set in. Harper rushed her to the hospital, though Irene, in a moment of stubborn defiance, snatched up her handbag and snapped at Harper to keep her hands off it. At the hospital, Irene's facade began to crack. She dismissed Bree's concerns, adamantly denying that she had any sort of problem. But as soon as she was left alone, her resolve crumbled. Irene couldn't resist reaching for the hidden hip flask in her handbag, taking a desperate swig. Unfortunately for her, Bree caught her in the act. With a mixture of disappointment and concern, Bree pointed out the harsh truth, if Irene couldn't resist drinking even after such a close call, it was clear she was battling a serious problem. The situation took a dramatic turn when Marilyn, who had been in a downward spiral of her own, arrived at the hospital. Gone was the woman who had been recklessly intoxicated at work, in her place stood someone who was deeply remorseful. She offered a heartfelt apology for her actions, for the hurt she had caused. The emotional roller coaster continued as Irene had a tearful reunion with John. Overwhelmed with guilt, she apologized for letting her alcoholism take control. John, ever the steady force, offered to take her home. But Irene, now fully aware of the gravity of her situation, confessed that she couldn't trust herself to stay sober if she returned to the familiar surroundings of her home. She revealed that Brie had found her a place in a rehab clinic. In a poignant final act, Irene made one last visit to the diner. With tears in her eyes, she apologized to Leah and Marilyn, admitting she didn't know how long she would be away. The gravity of the moment weighed heavily as she and John left the diner, ready for the journey to the clinic. As they walked out, John asked quietly, You okay? Irene paused, taking a deep breath before replying with quiet determination, I will be. And with that, Irene departed, her future uncertain as she faced the fight of her life. She's expected to be off screens for several months, until early 2025, as her character embarks on this tumultuous journey of recovery.